Hello, everyone. It's Cheryl. I went back to Dollar Tree today on the lookout for a few things, like those big, huge candles that people are hauling. Um, I'm not. I don't. I saw how to use that um, flying saucer thing. That's not for me. Um, and a few other things that I can't remember off the top of my head. I know I needed one more of these for those three little um, succulent, fake little succulents. But I picked up three, two extra ones, just because. Once they're gone, I know my daughter is going to say, Mom, I wanted some of those, so I now have five. Three for me and two for her. But I just think they are. They're so cute. And you could just, um, you know how they sell all the little flowers and stuff? You can cut them apart and just put, like, green and white little carnations in here for St. Patrick's Day and switch it out, you know, as the seasons go on. I think that's a good idea. I don't know. So I picked up three of these little beauties. Um, I picked up another one of these because I need it for um, something in my house. I bought a thing that holds tea lights that goes on the wall. And I'm kind of afraid to... It's got one, two, three, four, five, six... No. It's got like nine um, things that you put little tea lights in. And I don't want to catch the house on fire because it is on the wall. There's nothing around it, but it kind of goes up high near the ceiling. And these will work just fine. So I picked up a pack of these. These are LED lights, I think. Um, LED tea lights, 120 hours. So, yeah, they just come with a little battery in it. So I figured I'd pick those up. I picked up this. They didn't have the slicing pepperoni, the big ones. I haven't found them in my area in a while. Or the salami. It's really good. It's also made by Hormel. Um, so, yeah. I picked this up to make pizza tonight. Then I saw this in someone's haul, and I was actively looking for it. And it's the chicken breader. So... Um... I heard that this is really good. So I figured, eh, I'll give it a try. So I picked up that. I picked up a little thing of flour. A little two pounds of flour for a dollar. I've used this before. It's just flour. They also had, I think it was cornmeal in a two pound thing. I guess like to make masa. But I don't make masa, so I didn't get that. Then I picked up these little steaks. I use these for stir fry or um, f to roll up with a butter herb. Yeah, an herbal butter that I make with garlic and stuff in it. And then you tie it with twine and you brown it and then you throw it in your sauce. So it's just a thin little steak. So I picked up two of those. It's also really good, like I said, if you're making a stir fry. So, yeah, I picked up two of those. I picked up these carrots and peas. I like these with rice with the little um the little packets of I guess it's saison or something like that. With this or even with white rice. I like that. Corn. I like corn. This I can use in my stir fry with the steak or I picked up another one because I can make a broccoli pie with this or I can make um Use it as a side dish. I always pick up the broccoli from there. You get a pound for a dollar. Good deal. I picked up some um, minced garlic. I've been using fresh, but I'm going to use this. I picked up this fake Parmesan cheese. Uh, I've bought it before. I usually use real Parmesan cheese, but yeah. Made with milk, cheese, cheese cur culture, salt, and, and enzymes. So, yeah. It's okay. It doesn't really taste like Parmesan. It tastes like something, but it's fine. The kids like it. My daughter likes it, too. She says real Parmesan um, she doesn't like, so that's fine for her. This goes bad February 27th. It's Orange Aid. It's not really orange juice, but um, 
I don't really drink orange juice. I bought this because I have a bottle of Midori, and I think it's called a Pearl Harbor. You put Midori and orange juice together. Very nice. I usually don't drink. It's winter. It's snowing every day. It's going to be snowing again today, and then it's going to snow all, all weekend. So I'm going to have a drink. So I picked up that. Then to put in the bag for the kids for um, Valentine's Day, I think I'm going to go tomorrow. Yeah, I think I'm going to go tomorrow, um, the children's place, and get them little Valentine's shirts and have my daughter come pick them up. Um, when they come over on Friday, I'll just give it to them early. So, this is a little, it's a stamp activity kit with Spider-Man. So, I figured that will be cool for my grandson. He loves Spider-Man. So, it includes eight printable pages. So, it's a little book with um, a sticker sheet, three stamps, and a stamp pad. So, you get the ink, three stamps, a sticker sheet, and coloring pages. So, I know he'll have fun with that. And this is made by um, Dollar Tree. So I picked him up that one. And I got a Luciana, a Minnie Mouse. Comes with the coloring sheets, the three stamps, the little ink, and the stickers. So I figured I'll just add that to their gift. I picked up another one of these. I usually get the light brown, but I get the medium brown. So... I just use it to touch up my roots. I usually buy two boxes, but um, I'm just gonna try one because if I hate it, I don't, I don't want to have to be stuck with it. So I'm gonna try that. Then I picked up these really pretty Valentine bags. You get two for a dollar, and they got the little handles. So these are for the babies, for my grandkids to put their Valentine things in, and it's pretty wide. So two for a dollar, one for each kid. I thought that was really good. And it comes with a little like name tag. So I got them their heart, the card, those little things I just showed you. And I'm going to put a t-shirt in there. So that's for them. Then um, the UPS man finally came and delivered most of my stuff I ordered. I ordered two regular bookcases and then um, the short ones with I think four shelves or three shelves. I don't know. I don't like the real tall ones because I'm afraid that stuff's going to fall on my grandson's head. Um, I actually am embarrassed to admit why I ordered them. I ordered them to hold all my candle stuff, all my Yankee candles and stuff. Um, I won't be buying any Yankee candles. I shouldn't say that, but I... I I probably will. I shouldn't buy any more Yankee Candles for a while. Um, when I do get the bookcases together and everything, I'll show you. So that, uh, not as like a show off or anything of what I have, I want to be humiliated into being on a wax band and not buying any more until I use up at least 50% of what I have. So, yeah, that's why I'm going to... Um, show what I have. So I bought this shelf liner because I bought their black, two black bookcases. So I just want to add these to the shelves so that when I put the jars on the um, shelf or I have like those little buckets so I can pull them in and out, I don't want to scratch the, um, the bookcases and make them look all yucky and it's easier to dust with this shelf paper on there. So I picked up two in the black and white and I put this on my desk already so it'll match. And then I bought a taller one that's just black and it doesn't have a back. So it's just like a shelving thing. So I'm just going to cover the black one with this clear transparent, um, what do you call this? Contact paper. It's by contact paper. So I'm just going to cover those shelves with the clear contact paper and the two bookcases I'm just going to cover with the black and white. Yeah. And then I picked up two of these. I have three in the black and white. They don't have the black and white anymore, so they had this colorful chevron. Um, um, I got these to put my grandkids' coloring books in. And 
whatever else they need one for. So that's why I picked up two, one for Michael's stuff and one for Luciana's stuff. So that's what I picked up at my Dollar Tree today. I was on the hunt for those big candles um, and a few other things, but I didn't find them. So I am happy with what I did find. Uh, I still am on the hunt for the the candle holes. They're smaller than this, and they have pink or blue on the inside, and then you can see a little design on the outside. My area never got those. Never got those. So I really, really am hoping um, that we get them, but I don't think so. I'd love to have them for Easter, but I think I'm going to have to settle for these. Um... Yeah, like I said, that's about it. Um, I was thinking about doing like a room tour of what the house looks like I did decorate for Valentine's Day. I don't know if I'm going to get to that. Um, as, you know, I have so much other stuff I need to get done. And I'm just trying to keep busy. We're trying to be positive and think really good thoughts. Robert's father is doing pretty good. Um, he's not a complainer, so... There's that. We're worried all the time about him. But he's sleeping more. He's eating and keeping the food in. So we're happy about that. And we're just grateful that um, for the time that we have with him now. Um, they did say that he should make a recovery. He is going back to the doctor on Friday. He usually goes every Friday. So there's that. And it'll be snowing again. It was snowing last Friday. It'll be snowing again this Friday so yeah but anyway um thank you for watching everyone um No Guts No Glory had the um Velveeta packets and um I would love to find those in my area hopefully I do I really haven't seen anybody else haul them or mention them but um I'm behind on a lot of videos like watching a lot of videos because we've been busy um and then we were busy with the Super Bowl stuff and cooking and everything for that. The Patriots won. Um, I think this is the first year I watched the whole entire Super Bowl. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Ciao.